Hey, oh hey, look at that, it worked. Hello, Michelle. Good evening. Get my magic password in here. I don't know what the creators of this game had against uh, vowels, but there's no vowels in these passwords. Hey, what's going on, Sam? And Brandon, hello everybody. You notice, Michelle, your little badge next to your uh, your name there changed. I updated all the bits badges today. So you actually have the second level of bitch badge there. And if you scroll over it, you should be able to tell what kind of badge it is. It looks like a wooden staff. Ah, Pretty sick. I like it. <laughs> awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, I have a staff. That's perfect. And I have some new, uh, some new, uh, channel point redemption st uh, stuff as well. I spent a lot of time today working on some, uh, some new stuff for the stream. Okay. So where were we? I had finished a few levels in the last world here. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay. This onto here. Kill that one for free. And I guess we can kill this one pretty easily. Oh, how's everybody doing tonight? How you doing, Sam? What have you been up to? I'm seeing you on in a minute. What are you reading? What are you watching? What are you playing? What are you working on? Oh, I am tired today. I don't want to... No, then I won't be able to climb back up. Never mind, I don't want to. We'll just drop that fire on that little beaker and see what happens. Just knocking stuff around like I do. But you know what I could do? Actually, pretty. I could get them both this way, and I'll be able to climb back out. All right, you, and then plow. Okay. Let's see what else I got. that fire to drop on there. I don't really know why. I just am like a little paranoid about it. So I'm going to stick a block under it. Whoa. I was playing Bioshock Definitive Edition and discovered that the end of the game is a game breaking. But that has no workaround. And apparently, unless you happen to make a safety save. Oh no! That stinks. Oh. I have been there myself. I have a number of times gotten myself into a position where uh, I, I locked myself in a game that could then not be beat. Frustrating. Sorry that happened. Uh, so were you at like the end of the first game then? The like first Bioshock? D I, it sounds like Definitive Edition comes with like probably the sequels. I've never heard of it, but... <laughs> Burrito bowl. I played the first one. Really enjoyed it. You know, I loved uh, getting tripped out by realizing that the... Uh, that the game was talking to me, you know, when it was like, it was telling me I was a chump for obeying just every order I was ever given. I was like, oh, it's not even talking to the character anymore. It's talking to me, the, the video game player who unquestioningly, unquestioningly just tramped through these rooms, murdering every person I saw because the first person who called me on the phone told me to. <laughs> Like you do in every video game. Kind of like in Borderlands, when you get to the end of the first Borderlands game, and the angel's like, yeah, I lied, and you just 
murdered for hours to get to a treasure that I told you was there and isn't there, sucker. Oh, cool, cool. Well, I still never played the third. I did not like the second. I thought it was such an unambitious, uh, kind of like timid sequel. <laughs> you made dinner before stream tonight. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Interesting. Oh, that's fine. Just do it like this. Oh. Let's put that down there real quick. Oh, no. What have I done? Uh... I feel like I dorked this up. Okay, should be fine now. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. I feel like I messed that up, but somehow recovered it. <laughs> hey, Belly Donut! Yeah, it was the first. Man, that's a lot of video games now that I think of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is a lot of video games. <laughs> the first person <laughs> tells you, hey, go do a thing, and you, you do it. Oh, my goodness. That's a cute kitty. So you might be missing emotes. Well, actually, I guess Melissa would be the only one missing emotes. Um, they're, uh, I resubmitted them to move them down. So they're waiting approval, but all the Tier 1 subscribers should have Doki Doki uh, as soon as I get it. Apparently, when you move it down a tier, it's got to go through the whole reapproval process again. I would recommend Infinite. It was made by the same people that made, did number one. Oh, I didn't even know number two wasn't made by the same people who made number one. I like this game. This game's fun. I'm just not... Okay. What do I have to do? So I have to obviously build a bridge here. With the, oof, i got to de my monitor is what i got to do. starting to dance around on me. Uh, and plus, we're almost at the end of this one. I'll start Final Fantasy when I'm done with this one. I have to get those black bricks over there. Okay, which means i got to kick them in there, but then i got to climb back out. But then there will be no room to climb out, it looks like. If I... Yeah, then I won't have anywhere to stand when I kick it. Yeah. So I need to, like, maybe drop a brick. Oh, you know what? I got an idea here. If I push a, an ice block on top of it and then kick it, then I can climb back out. That should work. I think that'll work. Let me try that. Okay, so, no, that's, okay. Let me get this thing out of the way first. So I'm gonna do, I gotta do the bottom one here so I can climb back out. I'm gonna mess this up so many times. Okay. Oh, see, I already messed it up. I can't have that. The, the ice block underneath here has to go away. I can't have that there. <laughs> What did I say? What did I say? All right. So first thing we'll do. Oh, whoops. We'll put this here so that it's frozen like that. Get rid of that one. Okay. Now we should be good. Gosh, who comes up with these levels? It's been a while since I've tuned in. Have you played Brave Fencer Musashi yet? I mean, I have played Brave Fencer Musashi. I haven't streamed Brave Fencer Musashi. That was one of the first ones I threw in my PlayStation back there. I was like, Brave Fencer Musashi? I loved this game so much. Uh, and immediately, like, the music was sending me down the memory lane. Like, we only bought that game. Well, actually, I made Andrew Rafferty buy that game. Oh, perfect because I wanted to play the Final Fantasy VIII demo that came with it. Uh, Uh-oh. Uh this is going to be a problem, isn't it? What am I going to do about this?
Is that going to pose an issue for me? I feel like it is. Oh, you know what? Actually, I, I can work around that. That's fine. Okay. So then I can do this. I just got to get rid of that first. Gosh. All right. <laughs> this level. <laughs> this is going to work. It's just going to take 100 years. Okay. Right there. Right there. Right there. Perfect. Just cannot ever mess it up. If it's, it just feels like one of those levels where if you mess it up, it's like game over. Oh, yeah. Brave Fencer Musashi was a fantastic game. Oh, see? I almost messed it up right there. Actually, I could have saved that. But I don't have component cables for my PlayStation yet, uh, so I can't stream from my PlayStation. Uh, someday I'll be all, all set up for that. Same with the, the Game Boy. Can't wait to stream some Game Boy games. Oh, God. I thought I'd messed it up. I was like, no. Oh, yep, I messed it up. <laughs> right. Oh, goodness. Oh, I thought I'd messed it up. Okay, way to go, Michael. Gosh, how old were you even when Brave Fencer Musashi came out, Sam? What, three or four? <laughs> I think. When did Final Fantasy VIII come out? Like 1999, maybe? That's funny. Let's not bungle that again, huh? Oh, this wasn't the one I messed up anyway. Oh, no. What have I done here? Oh, did I mess it up? Can I fix this? Gosh, I hope I can fix this. Okay, yeah, I can fix this. No problem. Phew. <laughs> hey, Timmy. What's going on? What you reading? What you watching? What you playing? What you working on? I know. When Sam's in the chat, we have to talk about it. Make fun of somebody else. <laughs> Alright, let's get this thing to stop in the right spot this time. Oh, actually, you know what? I just don't even need that there. Get rid of that. Okay, here we go. The PS1 came out the year <laughs> the year I was born, I think. Yeah, I think I think you're about right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Don't mess it up now. Ah. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. What have we here? Okay. So we can go over here. Fiddle with that. Come over here and... Ooh, don't jump down in there. That'll be stuck city. Instead, we can go up here. Okay. Start a fire down there. 
Uh. What? Oh, I can kill that one. I don't know if I can kill this other one. Oh, I sure can. Oh, but then I can't climb back out? Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. I can climb back out. Okay. Oh, no! I can't climb back out. This is a problem. Okay, well, let's see what happens over here on this side. I wonder if that... Actually, this seems like it's okay. Like, I don't think that caused me any problems. Okay. And then if I put one of these over here... Kick it. Actually, if I put two over here, I can kick one at that fire and then drop one on the other fire, provided I can get back over there. Oops. Okay. We can kill this one. Okay, and then we can. <gasps> oh, you rude level. Oh no. Okay, so I gotta put an ice block right there. I think I actually put one there earlier, just goofing off. Right there. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna need a way to kill this one too. So I'm actually gonna need... Okay, I got it. I need a block there, and then I need... I'm gonna put two blocks on both, on either side of that thing. Okay. Here we go. I got this. Or I'm gonna... Oh! Okay, that worked. Uh, I'm gonna mess it up in a way I'm not predicting yet. We'll see. Should be fun. This worked just fine last time. Oops. Two of Mickey's brothers. <laughs> time to throw down for control of the chat. It's just you and Michelle right now. I, I mean, Randy could be on whatever team he wants to be on. He could be on uh, your siblings team, or he could be on boys team. <laughs> okay, we'll put some of those there. Because those will fall down on that pipe. Ugh. And I should be able to uh, then make a bridge to the last fire there to kill it. Ah, we'll keep Brandon. <laughs> Yay! Happy congratulations, Brandon. You you are wanted. Okay, I got that, and then I drop these. Perfect. Love. Okay, three more levels here. Oh, goodness. All right. Am I going to... All right. I think this is the last one I have to kill, because if I go down in there, there's no coming back. Uh... So I need to get all the way down to the bottom there, kill that one, and then climb back up, and I need, okay, so I need to, I need to kick that actually, over one, okay, and then put a thing there, there we go, so now I can climb back up that way, uh, oh, and this one, you just put one right here, do the same thing, piece of cake, oh, we've got a joke, one second. Okay, where's my clipboard? Oh, I put it over here. 
Oh, and all the prices went up on everything. Sorry, you're just going to have to lurk more if you want to buy this stuff. You could save up. There's a new redemption, Belly. <laughs> I like that emote there, Michelle. That's the fighting stance. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, this is not my joke sheet. Let me get to my joke sheet. All right. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. You've heard half these jokes already. Okay. I like this one. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Oh, whoops. I was not supposed to jump down like that. Oh, wait. No, that's fine. This isn't going to work. They're always up to something. Oh. Oh, I bet I need to drop something from up here. Can I can I get something down there from up here? Oh, okay, after I kick the thing, I can. Okay, so I kicked that. And then I can drop one from here. And that, that should... That should do it. It's in the right spot, anyway. So, me hating 50... Oh, because you had 5.6k. Oh, I get it. <laughs> me hating 56 started as a joke. You know good 56 are from Futurama, but became real over time as my family insists on highlighting and using the number. Now I feel antagonized by 56. It's true. Anytime we see the number 56, we point it out. And when she's not looking, I always turn the television up to 56 on the for the volume. 56! 56! Now that's all I can think about, you no good 56er. There we go. Okay, I should be able to climb all the way back up and kill that little flame. Let's just give myself a few ice blocks. I should only need two. 5.6k. Just like a... Give a gift sub or something and you'll get, you'll get like 300 points. You can skip right past 5.6k next time. Or just don't pay attention. <laughs> and I turn it back to 55 every time. Every time she catches me, anyway. Okay, kill that one. Build myself a little staircase here. What the? Oh, here we go. This will work. That's not a sequential. 56 is a sequential. Actually. That's not gonna work. Uh, what? Huh. Actually, I wonder if, like, I have to come here last. Okay, I can kill that one, at least. The one on the right. The one on the left, I think, might have to be the last one I kill. Because if I go down there to kill it, there's no way to come back out. Because I wouldn't have a place to stand on. So I'll be, I'll be back to murder you later. It's a sequence of fives. Fine. <laughs> it is a sequence of fives. Okay, let's build a bridge here. This one. Gosh, so I gotta go all the way around the level and come back to here. Okay. I can kill this one pretty quickly. So I have to kill that one down there, and I have to be able to climb back out. Which means I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need. Okay. I'm going to have to er erase the bottom one, but I need that top one 
there, but I need it stuck against the wall, so I have to remake that. And then... I need... Okay, I need another one, actually, over there. I think I got it. Kings of the Beach! Hey, what's going on, Snagglemunder? Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that, <laughs> Snagglemunder, who I assume is uh, is Paul. My uh, my siblings are winning now. Now, Sarah, uh, this Friday is Aurora's birthday, and for her birthday, she wanted to stream with me. And one of the games we talked about playing was Kings of the Beach. Because uh, we play that game together. <laughs> but we decided that um, Rampage would be would be more likely for us to beat. We need to practice Kings of the Beach some more. <laughs> All right, Melissa. Be safe. <laughs> He's no good as Randy stuck close. Uh, I don't remember which one I play. But it was it was funny because I taught Aurora the uh, the Kings of the Beach song that I invented, and she actually added to it. She she uh, added another part. So that beginning part that goes bump ba da bump ba bump ba bump ba da ba da. Uh, now we sing Kings of the Beach love to drink Loika Cola because that's what that big inflatable soda can in the back says. It says Loika Cola. <laughs> oh, whoops! Am I gonna not be able to kill this thing now? Ah, eh, should be fine. What? Oh, I have to knock that one down. I was like, how can I even get there? But last time Rory and I played, we were playing on the HD TV, so we had like input lag, and we weren't doing too hot. Uh, but I think with the proper CRT and a little bit of practice, we could uh, we could do pretty well. What have I wrought? Have I created a problem for myself? No, okay, I can jump down there, that's fine. So, we're gonna be playing Rampage on Friday instead, but Kings of the Beach is on the list. It's coming. It is. It has a future on the stream here. And welcome, by the way. I think this is your first time here. You, uh... You hit that follow button yet? How do, how do the YouTubers say it, Rory? Go, smash that follow button. Crush that subscribe button and hit that like. And make sure to blah, blah, blah. Oh, that was the last level. Woohoo. Ah. All right. Can you hear me, Dana? Ooh, creepy. Listen, you have to break Druidle's staff in order to defeat him. When you fight with him, you must smash ice against his staff five times. Oh, I, I said smash that subscribe button. You're supposed to smash ice against the staff, though. Be careful, Dana. All right, let's smash this staff button. <laughs> Such a dad. Take a sledgehammer and totally decimate that like button. Brandon knows how it goes. <laughs> he has a viral video, after all. <laughs> oh, my God, that video. I'll smash you and melt you and melt away Cool Mint Island. <laughs> Take a sledgehammer and totally decimate that like button. Don't stop clicking it till your mouse is broken. Okay, what do we have here? Alright, so I need to put that there. Okay. So I need to... Okay, I think I understand this. Okay, I need to be... Like, oh, no, I saw I already messed it up. Okay, I get it now. So I need to be standing on that. I think I know how to do this. Okay. Um, first, I got to get rid of that there. Okay. Then, like, oh, well, I need that to be not there, though. Huh. How do 
do I get rid of that? Oh, okay. This, this, okay, there we go. That'll work. I feel like I must be doing this wrong. Because it should have been harder than this. But this looks like it'll work. So if I now drop this... Oh, I mean, yeah, that thing will just melt both of them. And then it'll drop me a block. Yeah. I feel like that was supposed to be harder than that is. That's the last level there. <laughs> Look, Melissa, I have a staff. Oh, okay. Here's the. Oh, there's the staff. Look, he's got a staff too. Don't hit. Don't hit Michelle's staff five times, or it'll break. How do I get out of here? Oh, that's how I get out of here. All right. So just go kick ice into the staff, huh? And I presume he's gonna shoot that fire again. Oh, he's. Is he counting? One, two. He sticks out his tongue. Three. Okay. And then the fire snake comes. Oh. And when the fire snake is out, you're you're frozen. Okay, so if I put this here. Oh, 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 phew. Okay, that's the safe spot. All right, then I just got to do this five times. You go, Glen Coco. What's Glen Coco? Oh no, it's gonna burn my. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna duck under it. Nice, nice duck there, Dana. <laughs> this sprite of this boss is huge. Oh, whoa, Doki Doki. Oh, sorry, Melissa, you don't have Doki Doki right now. It'll come back to you though. Don't worry. All right, who's keeping track of how many hits I got? Mean Girls. I don't really remember Mean. Girls. I don't. I think I've probably watched Mean Girls less than everybody in this chat. Like I've seen it a few times, but I know for a fact that Rory and Nia have seen it more times than I have. All right, I don't want to push it this time. I'm gonna sit in this alcove. I almost got my goose cooked last time. Uh, no. Mean Girls can't be the best because Point Break is the best. Kind of nonsense is this? Where's my mod? Candy grams? What? Is that the thing where you make like a big cardboard poster and you glue a bunch of candy to it and it. Oh, I guess that was five. <laughs> Owned. I think I just beat the game. Arr, I can't believe I've been beaten by such a young upstart. But don't think you've won just yet. When people have forgotten about... I'll come back. Wait, what? Ha ha ha. Did I miss a word? I was trying to read chat. Whoa. Yay, I saved the princess. I don't know what you're talking about. You did it, Dana. Peace is returned to the island. Don't worry. The people will never forget your courage and wisdom. And certainly, I will never forget. <laughs> Time for a smooch of victory. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I thought he turned into, like, a frog monster there for a second. But he was just pointing his hat at the camera. This is the end of the story. Yay. Are these... But what happened to Dana after that? Everybody knows the rest of the story. He went on to become a great wizard. <laughs> Thanks for the three bits, Michelle. <laughs> Or is it? And they they cross-stitched a map of Cool Mint Island and put it on... <laughs> it's like a little band-aid thing over the evil wizard's castle there. So did, like... Who was the person who hired Dana? Oh, you finally were able to watch ads and get some bits? Grats. So I, I built these little bits badges like this one you've got here. Why did it change your bits badge? Oh, because now you're the bits leader, too. So that's a different badge. Jeez. Michelle's got like nine badges. Uh, Marino Wool. What? 
weird. Uh, I built these badges up to 5 million bits. So if any of you have $50,000 lying around and really want a Mazmune uh, badge next to your name, <laughs> she, <laughs> she is. She's got so many badges they can't even all display. Her, uh, her Pokey badge isn't there, and now her Bits badge isn't there because she's got VIP badge, she's got Founder badge, and now she's got uh, given the most donated the most bits this month badge ah. but you can pick which badges show up if you go down to the little settings um, you can choose which badges you want to display yay the end Woohoo! all right well that was cool beat fire and ice that was a fun game I liked it more than either Kiko cubicle or Lolo but I liked Lolo Kickle Cubicle was a game that I played. I think we would all be upset at one of us that would do that. <laughs> Cheer 5 million bits? I would be upset if you cheered 5 million bits. <laughs> all right. Now let's move on to Final Fantasy. All right, Melissa. This one's partially for you because... You said you'd never even played a Final Fantasy game before, and I started by playing Final Fantasy 2 slash 4, and it was terrible. Final Fantasy 4, ugh. I will come back and beat Final Fantasy 4 one day. I just I don't enjoy that game. Anyway, this is Final Fantasy 1. This is where it all started for Final Fantasy, and uh, I love this game. This game's great. This was made uh, by Squaresoft as a response to Enix's Dragon Warrior, which we beat on stream before. Squaresoft was like, ooh, we want an RPG too. So they made Final Fantasy in response. Now it was Squaresoft's first ever RPG, so it's very buggy. Like, it's got problems. Like, it plays just fine. Uh, most of the bugs, you um, you kind of have to go looking for them to know they're there. And they're not like game-breaking bugs or anything. They're just more like elemental swords don't actually do elemental damage and stuff like that. Uh... And like little bonuses to like running away don't work. Things little little stuff like that. That's a lot of fun. And uh, it'll have some grinding, but I'll try and do most of that off stream, like we did with at the end of Dragon Warrior. All right. The world is veiled in darkness. The wind stops. The sea is wild, and the earth begins to rot. The people wait. Their only hope, a prophecy. When the world is in darkness, four warriors will come. After a long journey, four young warriors arrive, each holding an orb. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, that, that's like when uh, we went camping in our backyard, Melissa, and I was like watching Star Trek Voyager in the tent. I was like, this is camping. <laughs> Respond rate just changes how fast the messages pop up. All right. In this one, you have uh, six different classes you can choose from, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um, and you can build your own party. And we're going to use a fighter first. And we'll name this one Mick. And we will use a thief. We're going to kind of use like the the classic uh, the classic Final Fantasy party, party which is fighter, thief, uh, white mage, black mage. Which makes me a little sad because like my favorite class in this game is the red mage. I love the red mage so much. And we don't get to use one. But that's okay. We're going to name this one guy key guess where this is going that's just what it's called Melissa it's a white mage and a black mage it wears a white robe all right this one's gonna be named dad and the black mage gonna be named red <laughs> so you put it all together and what do you get Dad Red. <laughs> All right. First thing we're going to do, because this is like any NES, NES, any NES game. It just dumps you right in and says, go at it. We're going to go buy a tent. Yeah, key. <laughs> Mick, key, dad, and rat. All right. We're going to buy this tent here. Tents, so to save your game in this one, you have to sleep at an inn or use a sleeping device outside. You can't just like go outside and save your game. Okay, we're gonna buy two repairs. Hey look, look Michelle. 
There it is right there. The wooden staff. I'm not going to buy it, but there it is. That's the one Michelle has right there <laughs> next to her name because she donated like 100 bits or something. There's, There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's not a pretty looking dinner, but it did taste good. All right, so we're going to buy two repairs. We're going to buy one for Mick and one for Key. Okay. Then we're going to also buy an iron hammer for Dad. And we're going to buy the small dagger here for Rad. I think if you donate one bit, you get the small dagger. Somebody go watch an ad and donate a bit. I forgot what it was already. Okay, we're going to equip our weapons. Okay. Then we're going to go buy armor for our fighter. Eventually, I want them to all have armor, but I got a budget right now. Oh, okay. One for the dagger. Michelle, you just cheated me out of a bit. I could have had a bit. <laughs> oh, you did change it back to the staff. I'm so happy you did. I'm so happy you like it. <laughs> that's cool that you can display any of the weapons you want, though. That's that's awesome. All right. And we're going to equip my chain armor here. Okay. Now we're going to go buy some magic spells. These are the magic shops up here. This is the white magic shop. So we're going to teach dad here. Cure and fog. All right. And with that, I already quit my armor, right? Okay. So the way it works is you have a, like a fighting order. This is how they're going to appear in combat. The uh, monsters have like a 5 out of 8 chance of hitting, attacking the top person. And then... Or maybe it's like 4 out of 8, and then a 2 out of 8 of attacking the second person. And then the last two, it's like a 1 out of 8 chance. So they shouldn't really be attacking Dad and Rat a lot. They should mostly be hitting Mick. And ideally, Key should mostly be dodging. Um, now, it won't always go down like that. Uh, some of these characters are going to bite the dust. Unlike Dragon Warrior, the first one, you have multiple party members, and you also can fight multiple monsters at a time. You can fight up to nine monsters at a time, as you can see here. Okay, I'm going to use... Well, let's see. And uh, when you like send out orders, so you send all four of your characters' orders out, if, say, you have two characters attacking one monster, and that monster dies, the second character will just swing at darkness. Like They won't then move on to another uh, monster. So you can't just have them all mash at one. Uh, cut. Wow, you guys are embarrassing yourselves. Look at the Black Mage did seven damage to one. All right, way to go, Mick. Oh, <laughs> nice job, Rad. All right. Uh, eventually, the uh, the fighter up there will just be a, a, a damage monster. Um, before becoming a total tank, and then the uh, when we change classes, like you get to a point where you you like upgrade everyone's class, the fighters become knights, and the thieves become ninjas, and the mages become wizards. Uh, at that point, the ninja will just start doing ridiculous damage. And the mages will just cast amazing spells. Yeah, attack the darkness. <laughs> if you're the sorcerer of light, then how come you had to cast magic missile? <laughs> I was in the Showerhead Fairy stream earlier today, and he was talking about how uh, he's a he's a middle school teacher. That's his profession, and uh, he hosts a D and D club for students at the middle school, and like. The principles like how's your devil worship club going <laughs> it reminded me of that like back in the 80s or 70s or whenever that was where people thought that D D was like some creepy devil worship cult thing <laughs> so now that that's how i saved my game right there the tent also like restores 30 hit points for all your party members all right this is garland if i had gone into the castle the king would have told me hey go rescue my daughter garland took her <laughs> there are still people that think that. <laughs> and they don't let their kids read anything with magic. No way. 
No one touches my princess. Light warriors, you impertinent fools. I, Garland, will knock you all down. All right. These two are just going to pound on him. Fog here, like, makes it so that uh, I take way less damage. Oh, what? I forgot. I didn't, I didn't forget. I just, I forgot that I didn't buy a fire spell. So Rad's just going to have to poke him with the dagger. Oh, excellent hit there, Mick. And the <laughs> thing didn't even hit me. What a chump. All right, we're going to cast Fog on Key here, too. Get him, Rad. Get him. Oh, if Rad got the final blow, that'd be awesome. One damage. I gotta say, Rad doesn't miss very often. Voice acting, huh? I was just saying the other day, I was like, gosh, in an alternate world, I would love to be a voice actor. I would love that gig. I have not spent any time developing that skill. <laughs> but, uh, that's a job I would enjoy doing. Right up until they made me do something I didn't want to do. And then I'd be like, Meh, my job sucks. <laughs> and I would do it in a voice, because, you know, I'm a voice actor. It's <laughs> so you are the Light Warriors. Why is Light Warriors, like, capitalized? This is like in uh, Final Fantasy VII, where just random stuff is capitalized. Thank you. And we teleport back to the castle. And in thanks for saving his daughter, he builds me a bridge. Well, he commissions me a bridge. You know, the king ain't going to get his hands dirty. Thank you for saving the princess. To aid your quest, I ordered a bridge built to the continent. Go now and make the orbs shine again. <laughs> Start copying their accents. <laughs> so when you're hanging out with me, do you say totally and dude a lot? Like totally dude? All right, and then you've had to talk to the princess here because she gives you this loot. Although you don't really need this loot until right like the very end of the game. Uh, it was funny though. I had Rory playing this game a while back, and when she talked to this princess right here, you know, she says this loot has been passed down from queen to princess for two thousand years. Garland stole it when he kidnapped me. Please accept it as my gift. It just might come in handy. Rory was like upset with her. She's like, why would she just give this precious heirloom away? Like, this thing's been handed down for 2,000 years, and now she's just gonna huh, hand it over to these fools? <laughs> like, it's mm, a pretty good point, I guess. But it's a key item, so it's not like I'm gonna lose it or sell it. Alright. Now we can go get everyone else some armor and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. E. Eh? Boot. Sorry. All right. No, I already got weapons. I don't need weapons. I need armor. All right. Let's buy some wooden armor here for Key. I always picture wooden armor. I picture that movie Hook where, like, Rufio and them, they have those slatted armors that roll down. <laughs> and then we'll buy some cloth. I don't know if you can call it cloth armor, but it's the best that the mages can wear right now. Okay, and now we will go by fire and lightning magic for rad. Excuse me, for rad! I love this little sprite for this, <laughs> this person who's selling black magic. <laughs> it just looks like a creepy little demon thing. All right, we're going to go fire. I kind of want to put lightning first, actually. Nah, fire's fine. Like, the order you buy the spells in, that's the order they forever are in your, uh, <laughs> where you cast them. That's why I bought Cure first, because I didn't want, like, Fog to be right here when I'm trying to cast Cure on my, on my buds. All right. And we'll rest at the end, because we have enough money to, and that'll restore our spells. I think we were like at full hit points when we beat Garland, but this is also how you get your spell points back. The spells in this don't work like your regular magic points. They work more like D&D &D spells, actually. So you can see that I have three level one spells. I can cast three of these. And I have one level two spell. And uh, that it, it increases like as slow as D&D &D because this game was kind of modeled after D&D. &D. So you'll see a lot of D&D &D kind of, kinds of monsters. And the classes are fairly D&D-ish.
So if you watch Rad here swinging his weapon, its weapon, I don't know if that's a boy or a girl. That's the small dagger there. That's the other one that Michelle has. I didn't buy a wooden staff, so you won't see anybody swinging it, but the other weapons we're swinging here are somewhere in the uh, bits badge. Rewards. So start watching ads. Ah. This was the... Uh, <clears throat> I know Dragon Warrior came out first, but this was the first RPG I ever played when I was about 10 or 11, my older brother brought it home from his friend's house and he plugged it into the Nintendo and loaded it up and I just had never seen anything even like it in my life. This game blew my mind. It just seemed so vast. And uh, his friend also had the Nintendo power that had the guide with the maps and stuff. And I would just sit there and look at the maps and read the stats for the monsters. And I was just so into it. I thought it was so great. And just games that could save. Just I loved it. Because, you know, as a kid, <laughs> it was hard to beat these Nintendo games. So a game where you could work and then save and come back and have all that stuff. Oh, I thought that was going to wait for me. What awaits the four they do not know. So I loved this game. This game was a big deal to me. Each holding an orb that 2,000 years ago shined with beauty from within, but now only darkness. <laughs> well, I got a 2,000-year-old orbs and 2,000-year-old loot. Come, start your journey. Return the light of peace to our world. You may recognize this music from later Final Fantasies. I think this, this track is actually called Final Fantasy. The one at the beginning that you probably recognize is called Prelude. So how old were you when this one came out, Melissa? 1987. <laughs> Wait, why does it say 1987 and 1990? Huh? <laughs> what year did this come out? So that's the whole game. I beat it. These are the credits, right? I don't think I've ever sat through this before. I normally just kind of mash buttons and it goes away. The square A team. Negative one. That was <laughs> negative one. Ooh, a creep. These things hit pretty strong, but they're really weak to fire. And it popped up there real quick. You may not have seen it, but it said, like, party gets a chance to go first. So I get I get to move before that thing even gets to move. So I'm going to toast it up pretty good. I'm going to miss it, too. Way to go, Dad. All right. Not terribly impressive, team. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. No. Oh, Mick. Eh, well, it missed too, I guess. Gosh, Mick is not really setting himself apart yet as a tank. He's only got one more hit point than Key. <laughs> like, come on. I guess he's, he can wear better armor. Like, the, the Thief class can't equip chain armor, so. Gonna head over here to the next town. We're gonna be, like, skipping around, because I've played this game a lot. I never... Okay. So... Ooh. This could hurt. That wasn't so bad. I'm going to run because there's two of them. And I don't want to get my face pounded in. Like that. Ow! The key here... Alright. I got like 500 things I got to talk about. Key here, his main function right now um, is that he's the best at running away. Thieves have like the high agility stat or whatever, and so they're really good at running away. So that's what he's most useful for until he becomes a ninja. Anyway, so technically, like I was saying earlier, this game you can save. Technically, I sort of beat this game as a kid. I didn't beat it. I did all the grinding for my older brother who did beat it. So I gave myself credit, like I beat it, you know, I beat the game. But really, he was the one who pulled the trigger. But I have beaten this game a number of times as an adult. Uh, 
in various forms. Like, this game exists on the NES, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation. Like, I've beaten it a number of times. Uh, so we're not going to walk around and talk to everybody. I am Bick the Pirate, and surprised I am that these scurvy dogs have the nerve to face me. Mates, get those land lovers. We're going to kill this fellow's crew here. These are the weakest enemies in the game. It looks all scary because there's nine of them, but they're just a bunch of chumps. And they drop a ton of money. So this is by no means a blind playthrough, but this is a game that I did not beat as a kid. And so it qualifies for the stream. Just walk up and talk to this random pirate and then beat up all his crew. And uh, this will get me a ship, actually. I'll get, a, I'll get my own ship after this. Well, I'll get his own ship. Back up that way. We passed it. We walked right by it. There's a cave there where there's like a witch named Matoya who tells you that if you... Oh, let me get my ship. Okay, you got me. Take my ship. Tells you that if you bring her her crystal ball back, she'll give you a herb to help some prints somewhere. All right, we're gonna buy some armor now with all that money we just got. We're gonna buy gloves for everybody. Whoops! I'm gonna buy two pairs for Rad. Apparently, I'll just move them. It's fine. Okay, and we're also going to buy some tents. Okay. Gosh, I might have enough money to stay in the inn after I buy these tents. So you can buy cabins, they're like slightly better than tents in that they restore 60 hit points and the tents only restore 30. Uh, but you'll notice that the tents cost less than half of the cabins, so the cabin's actually more efficient. <laughs> There's kind of no point ever in buying cabins. Uh, means you're better off just buying two tents. <laughs> Neither tents nor cabins restore your spell points the way that an inn does. There's also another object called a house, but it costs a ton. Uh, the house restores your spell points too. Although there's a, there's a weird bug associated with that, so like it restores your set, your spell points, but it restores them after it saves the game. So if you like then reset and load it, all your spells will be gone. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. Okay, now we're gonna head over to the dwarf cave, which is a little out of order, but there's a cave over here that you're supposed to come to later. I'm just gonna go straight there because there's a bunch of money sitting in it, and I'm gonna go take that money. Ooh, got a shark. Ooh, nice one. 58 damage. Ow! It hit key for 22. Wow. Dad just took it to that shark. Alright, I have faith that they can take it out without another spell. Nice. Shark uses its butt to attack, obviously. <laughs> How else would a shark attack? Alright, everybody's leveled up, a bunch of their stats went up. That's good. Actually, me as well. Yeah, way to go, Dad. <laughs> that wasn't Dad, that was Key. <laughs> we'll sleep at this inn too, just because it's so cheap. <laughs> nice. Well, not anymore. Hold reset while you turn off your power. Let's talk to this lady. This is Conaria, the Dream Seed City. So this this uh, Conaria, this city actually changes names in every other version of the game. It becomes like Cornelia or Cornelia or something like that. It's just one of those Japanese translated to English. You know, R's and L's are interchangeable. Ooh, these are gonna. These might do a lot of damage to me, but these guys drop a ton of money. If I ever get to go, okay, I'm gonna have to 
the three of them attack one. I'm gonna have Rad zap one. Oof, they're tough. Lightning doesn't do more damage than fire, I don't even think. Oof, I probably should have cast Fog on Mick there. Ow. Oh my gosh, can you believe how tough these things are? I don't know. You attack this one. You cast Cure on Mick. Then you cast Fire on this one. They don't do much damage to Mick when they hit him, which is good. They do more damage to these other characters. Mick Key. Ow! Oh, they are mangling Key. Come on. Kill one of them! Oh gosh, these are tougher than I gave them credit for. Yo. I cannot believe these things are not dying yet. Oh, jeez. Way to go, Key. Finally. Thank you, Dad. Alright, we're just gonna go all out to make sure that this one dies. If, like, they waste a few turns, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Key. That's, it's not a big deal. Like now we're only they only have two attacks now, so we're we're not in terrible shape anymore. I mean, one of them could like if both of them pick on Key and get a good hit in, it could be a problem for him. But I'm not really terribly worried about it. If a character dies, like I'll have enough money after this battle to res them. Um, they won't get experience for the battle, but all the other characters will get more experience. Uh, the experience is like divvied up for, among the surviving members, so if fewer people are alive, you get more experience actually. Per character. Ooh. Come on, Kaizoku. Kaizoku is just Japanese for pirate. It's funny because those other character, those other monsters in the town there were named Pirate. And then when he came to translating Kaizoku, the translator was just like, whatever, just leave it Kaizoku. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what a group. That was like a boss battle. But look, 600 gold. What a. What a haul. <laughs> Great white shark doo 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 doo. Actually, later in the game, there is something called a Gur Shark. It's not like green or anything. But it, I was confused about this until I was a grown up. The uh, there's a lot of enemies in this that start with Gur, G R, like Greater Gur Gur Wolf Gur Imp, and uh, I, like as a kid, I always thought it meant green. Obviously, I was like Green Wolf, Green Imp, even though none of it was green. Turns out it's just Greater Greater Imp Greater Wolf. <laughs> just being a dope as a kid because some of them are green so it like makes sense you're like oh it's green wolf but it's actually greater wolf that just happens to be green as a coincidence oh ooh, I get the first hit though hmm. I think I'm gonna run like I just can't quite hang with that good job rad it would just be too punishing Especially with my fighter already beat up. See, there's a Gur Wolf right there. And obviously, it's not green. Uh, I'm not going to stick around and fight these. It's just, it'll take forever to kill them, and they're not very much experience or gold. Alright, here's the Dwarf Cave. And they. Crystal, even the blankets eating us. Oh. Here's the gold I wanted. This is why I came here, was just to snatch this gold. Even though that pirate fight was worth as much as one of those treasures. 
This is one of those things where these dwarves, like some of them say lolly ho, but they're supposed to be saying rolly ho. Ugh, never mind. These are gerwolf. I still call them that. Like, I don't call them greater wolves. I call them gerwolves. <laughs> gerwolf. It's a gerwolf. Wow, look at all those gerwolves. Oh, and they got to go first. Yikes. All right, just going to sit here and take a pounding. Water break. Oh, oops. That went faster than I thought it would. Ah. <sighs> Come on, key. Later on, you get spells that can hit all the enemies. They're so helpful <laughs> for groups like that to just crush them all and not have to worry about your runs failing. Okay. Now we're going to take that gold and we're going to go to Elfland with it. But we're going to swing back by the inn real quick, because it's so cheap. Hello, shark. They did a really good job when they made the sprites for this game. Uh, you can look at my characters here, and you can look at the monsters here. They just made the background black, and by doing that... Uh, the sprites take on like a, an outline and a depth that isn't programmed into the spite, sprites. That's actually just the black background, but it looks really good. Like create those lines on the sharks and the kind of the definition on the characters, uh, even though none of that's like actually there. It's just a really, really nice way of doing it. When the boat is facing us, it looks like white poo. All right, let's see. <laughs> it does kind of look like the poop emoji, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you for that. <laughs> look at all this money. There's so much money. It's nice. Okay. We're going to go to the third city here. Elfland. That's actually the name of it. Elfland. And it's where the elves live. Elves. It's where the elves live. So there's some strong monsters here, but if I get lucky, I can get some good fights. I'll give this one a shot, just because I'm already here. Let's try and kill this creep. Let's, uh, here, let's cast Fog on my fighter. These creeps are super vulnerable to fire. Oof. 10 damage. 19 damage. Yikes. Maybe I'll cast Fog on Key, too. Come on. Fire it up. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. Ice! Okay, we'll do that same thing again, but this time we'll cast Fog on Key. Oh, 31 damage. Maybe I should have started by casting Fog on Key. Nice critical hit. All right, and cure just in case. So critical hits kind of like, I think like Pokemon style, kind of like ignore armor and stuff and just do awesome damage. So, and enemy monsters can critical hit you. So if this guy critical hit key, it could be a problem. All right, out of good magic here, but this should be this should be pretty good experience. These ogres are pretty good experience if I remember correctly. So good, I only did one damage with the fog spell on there. That's nice. points of experience that that seems pretty good all right so here's an there's like the, the prince elf has fallen asleep and won't wake up until we bring an herb and it's really complicated we have to go to the marsh cave first to get a crown then we have to take the crown to the evil elf astos kill him 
He gives us the crystal. We take the crystal to Matoya. Matoya gives us the herb. We give the herb to the elf, which he gives us a key. Then the key unlocks a whole bunch of stuff. That's what happens. All right, we're going to buy a wooden helmet and an iron shield here and some hats for everybody. Just to add a little bit of armor. And here we can buy level 3 magic. We still have some level 2 magic we have to buy, but I'm not in any hurry to buy it yet. Can I even cast? I can't even cast level 3 stuff yet. I gotta get up to level 5 so that I can start casting level 3 stuff. I'm gonna sleep here in the inn. So I'm gonna do a little bit of killing stuff on the ocean. Killing stuff on the ocean is nice because wherever you are in the whole entire world, monsters on the sea are the same. So it's not like I'm going to fight weak monsters if I go back to the like beginning or whatever. Um, but that inn will stay the same price, so I'll save money by sleeping there. And these ocean monsters still drop a ton of money. Wow, that odd eye thing was really weak. See, it says ineffective because he was trying to attack a monster that didn't exist anymore. I always thought these Sahags looked like they were like rocking out, like, yeah. Eh, that was pretty crappy gold, honestly, but whatever. Did I already sleep at the end? I did. I have full magic right now. Let's fight some sharks and some Kaizukus. There's also an Easter egg actually in this game, like when you're on the ship, or maybe you gotta be in the airship, I don't even remember, where you like hit A and B at the same time, like 50 times in a row, and it'll bring up like a little puzzle game. Like one of those little slider things where you gotta get all the numbers in order, and you, can, you have like one open slot, and you just slide the numbers around. Hey, level up, nice. Rad. Did everyone else just miss? Wow, Rad is like old reliable down here. Whoa, 20 damage from Dad. Another miss from Key. I think he can run away really well. Come on, Mick. I didn't have them all attack the same one, hoping that one of them would kill it. Whoa, way to go, Mick. Hey, and it worked out. Nice.
Let's just see if we can fight this one this time without casting lightning on it. Because it was taking us two rounds when we cast lightning. If it takes two rounds without casting lightning, may as well save the spell. And use it on those Sahags instead. Or Kaizokus. Maybe I should have used lightning. <laughs> Alright. Should have used lightning. Lesson learned. <laughs> and now I can't un unsee the white poop, Brandon. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> this is not that valuable of fights. For as much damage as I'm going to eat up, like, it's not worth hanging around. I say that, but then they do two damage to me twice. Or one damage twice. Alright, that time, they, they actually hit me for 17. That was, like, a little more like what I was expecting. Monsters get to go first, huh? At least this time I have four lightning spells. So even if it takes the other three of them, <laughs> three tries. Four tries. Rat will be mowing them down. So is everybody still playing Final Fantasy XIV? I heard that it came out with a new uh, update that it did like a crossover with uh, the Nier Automata game. I didn't even know Nier Automata was like a, a Square Enix property. Fighting robots and stuff. I can't unsee the poo either. You married him, Michelle. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hope you're feeling better, Melissa. Oh no. Whoa, twins. <laughs> Synced up your illnesses. That's a good idea. That way uh, you're not missing, you know, you don't have to play Final Fantasy 14 without each other. If one of you gets sick one week, then the other one gets sick the other week. That's two weeks you're out. But if you get sick in the same week, Oh man, Melissa cracked me up when uh, she texted last week. She's like, every time you say that Sarah is your favorite, Jason looks at me because he knows that Michelle is my favorite. <laughs> oh, good. I wish you both a speedy recovery and a full-hearted, wholehearted return to Final Fantasy XIV. The, the streamer I was watching play Final Fantasy XIV earlier today while I was working on my graphics I was like, this game is free, you know, if you want to play it in your downtime. I'm like, what time? What are you talking about? <laughs> downtime. Give me a break. I was like, the, my problem with Final Fantasy XIV isn't that I, I can't afford it. <laughs> when would I play it? Guess I could stream it. <laughs> but 
This time is set aside for the games I haven't beat yet. When I have beaten all the games, maybe I'll just retire. <laughs> How close are we to leveling up? Let's see. 366 experience points. Yikes. Mine's not sick, just unhealthy. I start the steroid infusions tomorrow, so I've been racing to set up outside. Getting your uh, your tub set up, right? Hot tub party at Melissa's. Slash steroid party. Hey, way to go, team. I'm excited. Oh, you sent them already? Is that what I, my, my phone was beeping about over here? So I gotta change my chat settings there, Michelle. Your your staff doesn't show up in the uh, the chat box on the stream. I gotta make it so that if you have a bits bads, it shows up. I put the settings on that thing a long time. Gosh, this game sure turns my face blue. Uh, I've set the settings on that a long time ago, back when the bits badges were like generic. So now that I got cool special ones, they definitely belong in the stream chat. Awful. Must always have staff. Agree. I agree. <laughs> we don't have the tub or the hanging lights till tomorrow, but I enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it already. Oh, and Rad goes down. Ouch. That's going to cost me. Sorry. Carry on, team. Avenge Rad. Uh, this is... Uh, what was that? Kashim? Kashim? Was that his name? This is that all over again from... Fire Emblem. Ugh. Except Rad's not permanently dead. We can take Rad to the clinic and get him straightened out pretty quickly. Oh. Oh no, Kashim. <laughs> Poor Kashim. <laughs> that position looks uncomfortable for the sharks. They kind of look like I surprised them. They're like, huh? What are you doing here? <laughs> wow, these sharks are are made of tough stuff. They are not going down easily. Come on now. Uh-oh. Don't let Sarah see him make his 56 hit points. I cannot believe how tenacious this shark is. I am nothing without Rad and his lightning bolts. Maybe we won't avenge Rad. Maybe he's the maybe he was carrying this party. Gosh. You guys are worthless. Forget it. Let's go. Without Rad, you are just dead weight. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. You don't deserve experience points without Rad. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. You too. And tell that kid goodnight for me. Then we will have nailed it. You're not worthless. Don't listen to him. You saw that? That was embarrassing. Rad's carrying this party. They all do have their own functions, though. The Black Mage is kind of supposed to be the rad buff glass cannon here in the beginning with these monster spells. Um... And kind of later in the game, won't be really. <laughs> we'll we'll just kind of be dead weight. Uh, oh no, I'm not fighting this giant group in between uh, boss fights. Like the black knight or black mage will be great during boss fights, but on the way to boss fights will be kind of pointless. Won't attack or do anything useful. 
It'll be the the thief carrying us running away <laughs> from all those fights. <laughs> Fine. Don't want to do this though. I'm having so much fun playing this game. <laughs> Whoa! Who did that? That was good. Somebody just smashed that thing. Must have been Mick. Or Dad. Was it Dad? That was Mick. Okay, way to go, Mick. I suppose it's partially my fault for not, like, upgrading Mick's weapon. I could give Mick a weapon that does more damage at this point, but it's not like it would have a higher chance of hitting. Like, maybe slightly? I don't know. Seems to be working all right now. Get him, Rad. Critical hit for 66 damage. Pwned. Nice. I oh, forgot how close we were already. 284. Ah, <laughs> This would probably, I would probably gain the experience faster if I fought like land monsters like the creeps and the ogres, but I wouldn't get as much gold. And I'm, I'm gonna want the gold. Greedy. I am struck by avarice. Plus, I'd be taking heavier beatings and sleeping in a more expensive inn, so I'd be getting less gold and spending more of it. Get out of the way, you. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, thank you. Oh, gosh. Sure wish I had lightning, too. Can't learn it until level 5, though. I mean, I could buy the spell. I just wouldn't have any slots to cast it with. It'll let you learn the spells. It just won't let you cast them. Paralyzed Mick! Rude! Stun is just a status condition that doesn't let you move. Um, it's sometimes, like, you have a, I don't know, 30% chance of escaping it at the end of every round or when you have your turn. Uh, but it also just disappears after combat. Like, it doesn't stick around like poison or stone or death. All right, Mick. I'm trusting you to do it on your own again. Ow! Ah, <sighs> oh, so close. All right, let's switch it up then. Mick, you attack the middle one. Key and Dad, you attack that one. Rad, you just keep blasting them. Oh, that was even weaker. That'll work. Let's try it again. Nice. 
Nice. Way to go, Dad. Ugh. <laughs> All right, everybody together now. Kill the Sahag. Hopefully this is the last time I really have to like do any grinding on stream. I didn't actually expect it to make it this far. I thought Fire and Ice would take me a little longer. Uh, but in the future I'll do enough grinding off stream that when I'm playing it on stream you can just kind of do the fun stuff. Kill the bosses and get the good loot. Ooh, a red one. Just don't trust you, sorry. I wonder if a red one will die to a single lightning bolt. See, that's why I don't trust you, Keith. Whoa! Way to go, Dad, with the 46 damage critical hit. Mix swinging that arrow over here now. That wasn't very good at all. Alright, we'll kill out that red one last. <laughs> Somebody else killed it again before Mick could even get a swing in. Fantastic. Must be getting close now. 107, so maybe like two more battles, three more battles. Dad is kind of crushing these things. Yo, what are you doing? Spaz. Come on, Dad. That was a noble effort. the elf land port here of dangerous creatures. Ooh, here's money. Let's see if fire does as much damage as lit. Ow. Yeah, fire's just as good. 
Nice job. Way to go, team. Finally. Whew, thank you, Key. All right, one more. Yeah, I'm going to save that spell. Ow. 21. Nice. Oh, come on. What is it? One more fight now? Do I have three? Okay, we'll do one on each of you and one on Mick and hope that Key's got the got the dodges ready. Okay. I feel like the shark does more damage than the Sahag. Nice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't be like that. All right. That should do it, right? Level up. Okay. Level five is important because it allows Rad here to learn Lightning 2, which, while useful against these sweet creatures, is super useful against the ostensible uh, first set of bosses there in the Marsh Cave. So we just kind of got to run to the bottom of the marsh cave, and there's a treasure chest there that has the crown in it that we want. But when we go to, to nab the crown, some wizards pop out, and they are vulnerable to lightning too. So Rad's going to mow them all down, hopefully. Lit 2. So Lit 2 is just like Lit 1, but it does more damage and hits every enemy. It's awesome. Okay. We're also going to need to save 100 gold. We're going to buy some healing items. We're going to buy Pures, which will cure us of poison, and Heals, which will heal us for HP. So we're just going to buy five of these first. Three. You have to buy them one at a time. Four, <laughs> unfortunately. Five. Okay. And we'll buy five Pures. Three, four, five. Actually, okay, so I'm going to buy five more peers and then I'm just going to buy heals until I'm down to 100 gold. Because I already bought the tents I need, right? Yeah, I bought the tents back in Provoca because this item shop here doesn't sell tents. Wait, how many did I buy? I lost count. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, so now we'll just buy... How many heals can I buy with this much money? I can buy... Oh, I can buy nine heals. Before I get too low. The uh, inn in this town costs 100 gold. 
That's all right. I should be just running from most of the monsters. The heals and the peers will just kind of help me survive, ideally, until I get there. Things could turn sour. I could run into snags and die, but I should probably be able to make it to the crown with this team here. And if not, we'll just get it on Sunday, I guess. Okay, to the Marsh Cave. Unlike Dragon Warrior, the caves in this game are all lit up. You can see where you're going. <laughs> No need to carry torches. Please don't poison me. Dumb asps. They're, uh... Not very good experience or money. And they poison you. Poison's quite obnoxious. Oh, no! These are the same thing! Ah, terrible! Alright, I liked all that missing. That was good. <sighs> Key is so good at running away. <laughs> I love that about Key. Grimps and werewolves. Oh, so neither the werewolves are green. The gerwolves are blue. And then the grimps, the grimps, are blue as well. Ah, I got poisoned by a werewolf. So when you get poisoned, you get moved to the back of the party, too. So I have to, like, cure the poison then go back to my party order here and put Mick back out in front. I do not want Rad out in front getting smashed. Okay, here's the marsh cave. We're going to use a tent outside to... <laughs> go away, geists. To save it. So that if stuff does go wrong, we don't have to walk all the way over here again. Okay, we're going to use a tent here. Save it, and we're just going to kind of run straight for the good stuff. Ooh, this music is intense. Whoa, look at all those. Yeah, we're going to run away from all of that. <laughs> we don't need any of that in our lives. <laughs> Boons. All right. Here, we can actually get uh, an upgraded weapon for Mick. I think I went the wrong way. I think I was supposed to go to the left. It's all right. Like, I can still get there from here. I just took extra steps for no reason. Oh, dude, no. Get some sleep, Melissa. Just missing, you're not missing anything important. Friday's the, the big day. That's when uh, Rory will be streaming. We'll stay up for my sake. Get sleep. Get rest. Get some for me, too, because I never get enough sleep. <laughs> you know I love having you here, but... Just take care of yourself. If you must have it, watch it on the VOD later. Oof. All right. Got a new weapon for Mick there. Not going to be using it for a while, though, because uh, I'm just going to be running from all the monsters till I get to the wizards. But I'll swing it at some wizards. Ooh, a red bone. Like that uh, Donald Glover song. Not Donald Glover. Ooh, stunt. Childish Gambino. Ah, these things are beating me up. That's why I brought all these heals. They heal 30 hit points. Alright, and here we'll get an upgrade in armor for Mick. The iron armor. Okay, I would love to put that chain on key, but thieves can't wear it. A muck. 
high above the mucky muck. Okay, now we're gonna get a copper bracelet here. Which, oddly enough, is armor. Like, that counts as armor. So that's actually gonna replace uh, Key's wooden armor here. I don't know why a bracelet is... <laughs> you would think it would trade out for the gloves, but no, it's it's a, it's an armor. <laughs> All right, and here we go to fight the wizards. Ooh, no, 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 no. Key, of all the people, I need you running the most. Okay, almost there. These wizards are weird, too, because sometimes there will be two wizards. Sometimes there will be four. There can also be three. It's just, it's like odd that that happens. All right, here we go. So mostly we're going to rely on uh, fog. Oh, gosh, we got the four. That's not good. We're going to use fog from dad here. Oh, I used up all my spells. Ugh, I hope this works. This better be a good lightning, too, because these things can hit really hard. Look at that. It did 46 damage, 17 damage. All right, get the fog on there. Now it's down to 10. Look at that. That's nice. 12. Come on, rad. Come on, rad. It all hinges on you. 32, 59, 49, 66. Ugh, that was too much variance. I don't like it. I don't have any spells left with you. All right, well, we'll start casting lit one. I think we did the most of this one. Awesome, awesome, we got one down. Oh, oh, mix gun. Oh, okay, now with that, they're gonna just start pounding the, the rest of this party into the dust. There's like, no way. I'm gonna survive this, it's just no way. Come on. Oh, come on, Key. You can do it. Hey, what's going on, Sharon? <laughs> this isn't a matter of... Actually, I have a lot of faith. I have a, I have faith that these wizards will destroy my party. <laughs> come on. Why did it do so little damage? 16? Oh, brutal. I probably should have saved uh, those spells on dead. I probably should not have cast Cure. Uh, I probably should have gone with uh, using the heals instead. Uh, all right. I don't think I can. Uh, I'll give it one more whack. Why not? Got 10 minutes. Maybe I'll get luckier this time. Or maybe I'll get poisoned in the first battle. Here we go. What are you still doing, Awake Showerhead? Must be super late 30 over there. 50. Fiddling with my settings to find that sweet spot. I don't know that feeling. Yeah, I was fiddling with my thing all day and I've I've left myself a to-do list of more things to fiddle with. Super late 30. I think I settled on a setting. Now I gotta just work on making look stuff stuff look better. Right on. I uh, I put together a whole bunch of new like bits badges today. You can't. I don't know if you can see any of them yet because Michelle like took off. But they're actually like little weapons from this game. Final Fantasy One weapons are my bits badges now. And I got two new uh, channel point incentives there. I got the uh, you can summon the cat now, and you can force me to play Mario 64 for 30 minutes. <sighs> so I'm not looking forward to, but everyone else finds it to be pretty hilarious when I play Mario 64, because I'm very bad at that game. I have fun playing it. I have fun being bad at it, so it's okay. It's not like I'm the butt of anybody's joke. <laughs> All right. Let's equip that again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Melissa. Oh, you weren't here when I mentioned it earlier. Yeah, there's a new incentive. A new, or a new, in whatever. It's a new redemption. Yeah. You can summon the Grand Dame. You can, uh, you can try, you know, 
if she says no, like, who am I to argue with her? <laughs> but yes, Nia is on standby. All right, let's try this again with the armor upgrades. Maybe this time we'll get two wizards instead of four. <laughs> Okay, equip my iron armor. Werewolves! Werewolves! Alright, and my copper bracelet for key. I do seem to have encountered far fewer enemies this time through. Why would I say something like that? It's like spitting in fate's face. Well, those werewolves look suspiciously like crocagators. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it at level five if you just run from every battle. <laughs> that's the that's the secret. Just don't fight anything. <laughs> lit 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 two here can take out these wizards pretty good sometimes. It did not do a great job last time. I've had it kill all four wizards in one shot. Ah, here we go. Nice nice little two wizard battle this time. Uh, but my, my lit 2 last time did not do a great deal of damage. Oh, I forgot to cast Fog. Oops. Yeah, see, look at that one. 114. What a beast. Just killed that wizard all on his own. And that one, that wizard didn't even get a multi-hit multi, multi -hit on Mick there. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to kill this one. And then he's going to cast Fog. I forgot to cast Fog. See, it only did 4 damage that time. Oh, we got this. Come on. Come on, Rad. Oh, way to go. Way to go, guys. We did it. Look at that. Killed the wizards. All right. Now we get the chest, and we don't step on that square again because it'll have wizards again. All right, Melissa, let's get you your joke before you fall asleep. Okay. Joke time, joke time. <laughs> All right. It's, it's the perfect one for you, Melissa. It's a question answer one. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? There's the crown. Now we just gotta not get murdered on the way out. It takes 10. It takes 10 tickles to make an octopus laugh. <laughs> that is one of the rare jokes where uh, I let the a piece of the punchline be in the setup. Normally, I can't stand jokes where the, but there's not like a, a proper synonym for tickles. Like, what's a, how would you rephrase tickles? How many light caresses does it take to make an octopus laugh? Like, it just doesn't work. It's just weird. It takes ten, ten. Light caress, that's silly. Tentacles. Takes tentacles. Well, this was a much more successful delve into the marsh cave here. Ooh, actually, these gargoyles could mess me up. Ouch. But honestly, if I just make it back to town, I'll be happy. Like. <laughs> All right. I look forward to your pictures. Thanks for stopping by, as always. Uh, rest well, and I'll see you on Friday when uh, we have our special birthday stream for Rory. Night, Melissa. All right. Oh, I'm about to be done anyway here. I'm going to go outside, use this tent. And <laughs> That'll be enough Final Fantasy for tonight. Nice. 
Yay! Alright. I like to save it there just because I don't want any tragedies befalling me as I head back to town. Alright, let's see if I got this right now. How's that? Belly, is that better? I fixed the uh, aspect ratio. <laughs> Corgos. Alright, I think we're just gonna... Oh, thanks! <laughs> well, be back on... Uh, should be back on Sunday, and I stream actually a little earlier on Sunday, Shara, so you might be less sleepy when I come back, and uh, i give you all the pro tips. <laughs> it's such a fun game. Alright, well, thanks for coming by, everybody. Uh, thanks for the jokes and the whatnot, and uh, I'll see you all on Friday when we have our special birthday stream with our special guest, Rory, who will be playing Rampage with us. It should be an exciting time. Uh, have a good night. I'll see you all later. <laughs>